Uh, hello everyone, my name is Godfrey Rivera. I'm from the Metropolitan Parents Center, which is part of Synergia in New York City. Metropolitan Parents Center is uh, one of the three parent training information centers that's located in New York City. What makes our PTI a little uh, unique is the fact that being, uh, we are located, we recently moved to a brand new facility in the, um, in the crossroads of Central Harlem and East Harlem in the Bronx. So we are able to um, uh, be able to uh, access and get people who need help right away. Uh, we serve predominantly, uh, as I said before, African American and Latino populations. Actually, it should be the other way around. About 80% of the people that, that serve uh, are, are Latino, and a good part of them are Spanish speaking or English language learners. And also, uh, n another considerable portion are, are immigrants. So uh, a lot of these parents that we work with uh, do not have any English language skills. Uh, another thing that makes our organization in, uh, unique is that uh, we work with a population that, according to our mission statement, are unserved and underserved. So not only do they have education issues, they also have uh, you know, economic issues, uh, health issues, uh, housing issues. And so often when I call or when I speak to parents, uh, it's listening to a variety of, of issues and concerns that we try to address them uh, and help them, you know, get services for their children, provide housing. We also have a, a family support service and Medicaid care coordination for families that have children with developmental disabilities. And like I said, we're, we're located in one building now, so we're able to uh, provide education advocacy on one floor and then send parents down to the uh, to another uh, floor, the third floor, where they can uh, talk to MSC uh, people, family support, and get more information, resources, uh, and training. Um, also, we have a, a great uh, parent support group where uh, when I talk to Spanish-speaking parents, I always encourage them to go there first. Uh, that way, they immediately uh, become part of a, of a community of, of other parents that have children with special needs. Especially if they, if they are young parents, a, a young father or mom, who are new to the special ed world and have no idea what to do, they're still dealing with the fact that their young ch child has a, a disability, and they're frightened, they're, dis they're disoriented, they're confused. So we have them sit with a group of other parents that are have been um, who know the system, know how to navigate the system, and able to provide them with everything from uh, listening ears hugs, support, cell numbers, and once again, you know, I noticed that uh, parents that start in a support group tend to become wonderful, passionate advocates for themselves and for other parents. 98% uh, of our staff are bilingual, English and Spanish, and because we're supports, uh, we're, you know, we're a nonprofit, we don't charge anything for our services. And one thing that's, that we're really interested about is I'm doing some trainings for, uh, for Spanish-speaking parents and introduce them to the world of the internet and computers. So I do a series of workshops that I call Internet 101, where we break it down uh, as to uh, why they should become involved with technology, how the technology can help them learn about the child's disability, uh, help them learn in, to the point where they can go to school meetings and, uh, and school events, uh, inform them, be able to ask questions and become more involved with their child's education. We also have a really special program where uh, that's on. We also have a special program that's dedicated uh, just for parents that have children on, with autism spectrum disorders. And what the coordinator of that program, Gina, did is she wrote a little grant and got some funding where uh, uh, she works with some moms that have children with Asperger's disease, uh, syndrome, which is a type of of, uh, of autism where the individual is has really good intellectual and thinking skills, but you know their issues are communication and social skills. So anyway, we have two young men who are paid a stipend to help parents, to train parents uh, about computers, uh, how to uh, design an email. You know, it's, it's been wonderful. It's, it's, it's small, but we're hoping to get more funding in the future where these young men are able to learn social and communication skills and help parents uh, become involved and aware of, of the of the computer um, 
computers and uh, the internet and learned how to use that as a tool where they can, um, uh, you know, see, uh, uh, you know, become more involved with the schools. So you're welcome to visit our, our website, which is www. And the name of our organization is Synergy. I'll spell it S as in Sam, I N as in Nancy, E R G as in George, I A N Y dot O R G. So that would be uh, SynergyNY.org, where you can see uh, uh, our events, our calendar uh, of events, workshops. Uh, please visit our website. It's bilingual. Uh, you can get information in both English and Spanish. And I think you'll, you'll like what you see and you'll have the information on how to contact me. My name is Godfrey Rivera. I'm the co-director uh, co of the Metropolitan Paris Center at Synergy. And thank you very much for your time and attention.